Hi, and welcome to the first video in a tutorial of how to make a really simple Minecraft game in Flash. Uh, I'm using Flash 8, and it may look a little different than your Flash, but the concept's pretty much the same. Now, now that we're making a really complex game, which some people can understand it more than others, because when you're a beginner at scripting, you don't really think through scripting as much as you will once you start learning. It's, but if you if you are intent on learning Flash, then you will learn and you'll start learning quickly and you'll realize it's pretty cool. But we need to really think ahead. So we need to think ahead on how many frames we might want. Well, we, we want a frame for loading. We'll probably want one for um, a title screen maybe a help screen, an extra screen just in case, and then a, uh, this could be like the respawn screen or something, and then this could be the game screen. And we'll need it to stop on the game screen. So we need to make a function that places all the blocks on the screen. So we'll make a function called render. So we say function render parentheses and brackets then whatever happens in here would render blocks. We need to tell it to render. So, um, and then the blocks we would put in dynamically using script. So, on, also we need to make the block size just to tell the script what the block size is and we can change it whenever we want. Block size will do 10. World width now since it's since we just want to fill up the screen for now the world width would be 550 divided by block size which would be 55 and we can just type that in if you want and also the world height would equal 10 or 400 400 divided by 10 which would equal 40 and we're just filling up the entire thing with blocks now we need a movie clip that puts all the blocks on the screen so we'll make a new symbol and we'll name it world and we'll just place that symbol right here on the on the root and we'll name it world now all the blocks would go in world all the um, animals would go in world And so also we need blocks. So we'll make a new symbol and we'll name it block. We'll export it for action script too so that we can place it. And in the block, um, in the frames, we'll have a normal frame. We'll have mining so that we could change the speed of how fast we mine. Or we can just show the mining animation. Um, also we'll have probably fire if you get into it. And if you ever catch it on fire with the flint and steel. And the main thing we have in here is the block type. And the block type would be like sand or dirt. And in my game, the block size are normally 30 pixels. And so I'm just going to put this 30 so that we can easily go back to it. And this would be the block. Now, since our resol since our block size right now is 10, so that we can see what we're doing, we'll change it by um, once we make this a movie clip by making it into block type. We can change it now, but um, it'll be a good resolution for later. We'll name it block type and make it 10 by 10, and we'll center it. So there we have a little block. And in this block, we're going to have different types. Like, this is the normal one, which would kind of be like air. Um, I ran into problems with having my game without air, and there is no blocks in the air area. It may run faster, but it takes a while to script certain things. And also, we want dirt. And it will have grass on top. There we have it. 
um, a simply block, a simple block. So in our actions, all we have is a render function. We need something that actually places all the blocks. So we'll make two for loops, one for the x and one for the y. So for var x equals one, x is less than or equal to world width x plus plus. And we'll do the same for the y. We'll change that to y, change that to y, change that to y, and make this height. And so since our world second, since our world is down here, we have to remember that we want to stack the y like up. Up not down. The x is normal, it goes um, to the right, but we want the uh, blocks to stack upwards. So when we're making our clip, we have to just remember to stack them upwards. So we attach the movie clip, attach, we'll have to say world.attach movie, and we'll name it, we'll name it block. I mean, we already named it here. And that's our linkage. If you go into our linkage, we named it block. So now we have to name it. And we'll name it according to its x and y. So we can obviously get to it a lot faster. So block x, which I did b for block, plus x plus y plus y. And that will be its name. And now we can make it have the next highest step. So there we have it. We have 55 times 40 blocks on the screen right now. But guess what? They're all in that little corner right there. <laughs> Flash is glitching. Doo doo boop ba doo. Doo doo boop ba doo. Okay. <laughs> So now we need to make its x and y relative to where we place it. So we'll say, um, we'll first name the block temp, and we'll say temp dot x equals x times block size. So so yeah, if you understand that, we're just placing them block size apart on exactly their x and y. And also in our block type, right now they're playing, so we just want to stop it. So you might expect that this will work, but like I said earlier, we have to remember something important. Now we don't see any blocks. Why? Well, because they're all underneath. So we need to make the y negative. Also, we need to subtract one half of a block size so that the edge of that is right there. So we say minus block size divided by 2 for both of them. So now they're centered and they fill up the entire screen. Oops, what did I do wrong? Oh yeah, plus, plus block size divided by 2, because the y is negative, remember? Yes. Well, there we have it. It fills the entire screen. And that will be simply what we'll do in this episode. And the next episode, I'll show you how to quickly make terrain. In fact, I have a little just demonstration, and it will look sort of like this. I'm running it, I'm running it, let's go. It's because I'm running this blender animation down here. My computer's normally really fast. And this is what it would look like when it's done. Just a small little terrain. It looks pretty fancy. Well, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this really small tutorial and check out the next tutorial soon. Bye.